wonderful friends, Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. Oh, do I have a message for you today? My friends, first I gotta talk about yesterday's video. We're talking about the story of Rabia's life. It took me five or six tries to even make that video yesterday because I couldn't stop crying from that story that it's probably like 1400 years old now, but it still touched me in such a beautiful way. Today I wanna to talk about a story this literally as old as time. My friends, and how I came across it today, I was pulling tarot cards and I pulled the chariot card. And my friends, this story of the chariot card, it, it not only is it in the tarot, but the oldest religion there is, Zoroastrianism, talks about the white horse and the black horse. My friends, Plato talked about the chariot and the white horse and the black horse. It's a story that needs to be heard and needs to be understood. And I'll tell you why, because you're gonna take back control of your life, because if you don't control your life, someone else will. You know, it made me think of the story of Walt Disney. I mean, he made his business empire from imagination. Do you know he was fired from a newspaper? The editor told him that he had no imagination, no good stories in him. My friends, makes me think of Jesus, right? He was God incarnate. And the religious leaders told him that he had a devil. My friends, you can't listen to other people. You gotta go inside and find that truth. And the truth is represented as the white horse. You know, and a lot of times people, they'll take your strengths and try to make you think that's your weakness. And it's destroyed a lot of people's dreams and lives by listening to outside influences. You know, the white horse, it's meant to take us to the heavens, right? The black horse wants to drag us down. If we want to reach the heavens, we got to focus on the heavens. And that's the high ideas. It's morality, right? It's good thoughts, good words, good deeds. My friends, it's the high frequencies, love, doing right. My friends, the black horse, it's base. It's about anger and fear and greed and hate and grab all you can. My friends, survival of the fittest, and it drags you down. My friends, and the spirit that we hold inside of us, it's a real world that we create, not only in our own bodies. When you're angry, it shows on your face and your body. When you're stressed out and, and you're fearful, or you're beaten down, it, it shows in, in the way you hold yourself. And then in your world, in your family, in your relationships, in your businesses, what you believe, the morals that you have. My friends, we've got to reach for the highest, the white horse. In Zoroastrianism, the white horse was called Tistra. You know how much I love that story. And Tistra would bring the rains. And Tistra fought the demon of drought. So the rains, it was prosperity and good times and health and bliss. Right, and then drought was lack and suffering. So the white horse was strengthened by the people's prayers and beliefs and faith and focus on the good, holding the good, being the good. My friends, and you would see it in their lives, in their world. And my friends, it's true, the spirit that you hold, you will see it in your world, in your body, in your health, in your mind. My friends, what do you believe, what spirit do you hold? Then I pulled another card, and it was the Queen of Swords. Queens, their understanding and reasoning. Well, we have to let all the thoughts go through reasoning, the filters of reasoning. We talk about that with Zoroastrianism is so important so that we rule our atmosphere. We rule the air. Swords are air. Swords are truth. We, we rule our atmosphere with truth, with the white horse. My friends, with the high frequencies, we be that and then we'll see that. It's so important that we hold the highest thought, the good thought, the God thought. A God idea can change the world. A God idea can change your life, my friends. But same with the evil idea, a bad idea. If you're holding hate and fear and greed, my friends, it's gonna change your life, but in a way that you don't want. Stop looking at the world. You know, Plato talked about that, that with our senses, we only see the shadows. 
My friends, but, but it's the spirit, the frequency that's real. We need to look to the real, not to the shadows. You want to change the form and the matter? You got to change what's real, what spirit you hold. And that's why the message of the Magi is so important. We, we hold the highest ideas, the highest frequencies. And my friends, you plant those energetic light seeds, there shall be a harvest. Just like you might have a harvest in your life that you don't like from holding the low base black horse. My friends, if you'll start to believe in yourself, believe in God good, believe in truth, and, and only operate in, in, in those high frequencies, make a habit of it, new habits, my friends, excellence is going to come from new habits, good habits, thinking only good, speaking only good. Think of who you want to be and what do you want to do. And then think like that, speak like that, act like that, be that, be the love, be the peace, be kind, be God good. My friends, you're going to change your world. I love you so much. Share this message with someone and we'll see you next time.